Hey guys, so to define Agile, my name is Anatoly and today we're going to talk about how to set up your Scrum board in Jira. Before we do, I have two things. One thing is I have a course called Jira course where you can learn Jira from beginner to advanced in about eight hours. So if you go to get my help section in the description below, you can find it. Or if you're very, very stuck and you know what to do and there's no one to help you, you can go to get help section, go to Kalen link and schedule time with me or somebody from my team. We are happy to help you. Now let's talk about how to set up a Scrum board in Jira. For that, let's create a brand new project. Let's go to projects, click create project, and then you have Kanban, Scrum, and backtracking. We want to select Scrum. And then this is explains what Scrum is, and I recommend you read this because it simplifies and answers to a lot of questions that you might have. Then you click use template, this brings you to either team manage or company manage. I talked about there, that before. I always like to use company manage because it just has all the features while team manage does not have. It's just very slimmed down version. So if you want to go a little bit advanced later on with team managed, you might not be able to do it. And if you follow my tutorials, I usually use company managed anyway, so that will help you. So then we click select a company managed project. Now we need to give it a name. Uh, let's give it a name, Scrum Board Project, but please give a descriptive name that will explain your project. Click Create. And here we are. If you know Scrum and if you're selecting a Scrum project, you should know, at least read Scrum Manifesto, know what Scrum is. Scrum is all about iterations called sprints. That's why I have an active sprint board, which is empty because you did not create any sprints. It also has a backlog where you can keep uh, creating your stories. Let's create first story. And story is a uh, business value or part of the work. And then when you created your first story, uh, or you can, I mean, when you created enough stories to put them in iteration, which can be one week, two weeks, or whatever time it is, uh, then you can create a sprint. And then you can start putting your stories into sprints. And once there's enough, you need to discuss with your team, make sure your team understands everything about those stories, flesh out any things that they don't understand and make sure that everyone is committed. Usually you estimate stories as well. I will not get into estimation in here, but yeah, usually in Scrum we do estimate. So you'll put some story points with your team and then you can have, let's say this will be a randomly two story points and the other will be eight story points. So let's do it that way. So one of them is much more complex than the other and will take more time. Uh, so this is two stories and we can click start sprint to start working on it. Uh, click start, here we go. And then he here we are to do in progress and done. So this is an active sprint board. It could also be called a scrum board. So you might wanna uh, customize that. So let's say you have some, some other process. Let's say I have a QA. So if you're here, you can go to, let, let me go there again so you guys see what I do. Click on three dots, click on board settings, and then usually in general, go to columns. And then here you are, this is your columns. Let's add more. You can add a column, let's say in QA. Then you can add it. Then you'll have another column and then some teams have on staging to see where it is and then in production and then when it tested in production it's done so essentially to do uh, is you know, nobody picked it up in progress we're working on it in QA means quality assurance took it and uh, working on it on staging means we deploy it to staging and then we tested it, everything we need. You can create more statuses here. So let's say if it's on staging, but you don't like on staging status, you might create a status called QA on staging. And then if it moves here, QA knows it needs to create on staging. And then you can have another status here, QA on staging past, let's say. And then it will, whenever this status, uh, QA will put it in the status, 
and then it will know that it's ready to develop a deployment or production. So you can have the same in production and then you can have done. It really depends on what your team is doing. Uh, the, this will be probably the simplest one to do in progress in QA, staging, production, and done. Um, but you can choose any any way you want, and but don't make it too complicated because the more complicated you make it, the more people are uh, not willing to follow the process, I would say so. And they're also with the workflows, which we're not going to go here, but I have videos on workflows. So you can check it out. You can limit where those tickets can go. So let's say you cannot put from in progress to staging right away. It needs to go for QA. Or you cannot put anything in production. It needs to go to staging and then to production. So there are a bunch of ways you can do this. But right now, you see we can just drag it to in progress. And then, interesting. So it does not allow us to, to drag it anywhere else. Um, let's see why. In progress, in QA, on staging, in production, done. Should work. Let's see. So you can also change it like that. I'm not sure why it doesn't allow to, to move it, but you can change status just by going in it and clicking. So if I'm here, will it allow me to change it now? Hmm. Very strange. I think something like a bug, or maybe I am missing something, but haven't seen that before. So you can move it like this. Let's try refreshing. Maybe that will help. Because I don't have any restrictions. Workflows will allow you to set restrictions, but I don't have any restrictions. So I don't see why it would not allow me to. Yeah, see, was a bug, so now I can move it. So just refresh and you're good to go. Hopefully you're not facing with that, but if you do, just refresh and it will work for you. So this is essentially how you set up your thing. And then when the sprint is complete, when everything is done, you click complete sprint, and then you complete it, and then you will get a sprint report, and then you can look on what happened, what was completed, what was not complete, discuss with your team. And this essentially is a workflow of uh, Scrum and how to configure a Scrum board in Jira. If you have any questions, put them in the comments down below. If you like this video, if you think it brought you value, please like and subscribe. It allows us to spread it to more people. If you think somebody needs it, please share it with them as well. I'll really, really appreciate that. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next one. Bye-bye.